He's about ready to jump it off with Caleb Tarzuski, Arizona in home white, and we are underway here at the Garden. McConnell with the ball, a transfer from Duquesne. Not shooting the ball much, but distributing it beautifully, and that's why one of the reasons why Arizona, Dan, they're shooting over 54% as a team. Well, you see right there, you know, what Drexy's going to do is make them shoot those shots. They went under every screen there. If you're going to get beat in Drexel's mind, it's going to be from the perimeter, not pounding it inside against him. This is Chris Fouch, number three, a sixth year senior. Missed his freshman year with injury, then missed almost all of last year with an ankle injury. Got a second medical redshirt. The floater goes for Damian Lee, a junior out of Baltimore, and the Dragons strike first. Well, right away, you can see the confidence. You mentioned Fouch. I mean, he's from here, went to Rice High School. It was a goal of the teams to get here. Sometimes teams get shook in the garden, but that was as calm as could be. Fouch's first game as a collegiate in this building. Tarzuski with a jump hook, no. And a reach in fouls. Going yeah, man, how's that coach ever win? We went today and watching their shoot around, you say, with the talent and the way he coaches them. How'd they ever lose? He's fantastic in every area. Offense, defense, details, he has it all. Everybody getting a touch for the Dragons. Shot clock down to 15, and the three will go for Franz Massonette, a senior out of Ewing, New Jersey. He's the primary ball handler for the Dragons. Knocks down a three, and a good start for Drexel. Yeah, and McConnell forgot the scouting report, because Fouch is a sh You know, when you come out on Fouch, Massonette, and Lee, you got to come out taking shot first. You just do, because all three of them will load it up. Lee loads it up. Ball's on the deck, and McConnell comes up with it, and then Mass, a couple of years ago, had a great team, did not get, they were considered one of the snubs for the NCAA tournament, wound up in the NIT. They had a hard time. I did their championship game, and it was against v and crazy, but he's a terrific coach and has a really, really good demeanor with his players. They have already won this year at Illinois State and went to UCLA and only lost by five, plus a road win at Rutgers, so they have been tested away from home in the early going this year. And they come up with a steal. Fouch driving on Johnson, lays it in, 7 nothing Drexel, and Sean Miller. And their seniors also picked up a win three years ago at the Yum Center at Louisville in the first year of that building, so they're used to going on the road, playing highly ranked teams. This is not a brand new experience for them. You know, the other thing is, when you when you play for Bruiser Flint, you're going to be tough, and, and he's smart. The best thing you can do in college basketball is recruit to your culture, and he does. And that pass from McConnell, who's a pass first guy, missed by 10 feet. That tells you they're rushed. You know, he would normally take it below the foul line, make a nice pass, but they're a little bit rushed. They're out of sync. They're sped up. Arizona is offensively. Here's Fouch again. Takes a bunt, no call, and here come the Wildcats. Gordon had it knocked away from behind. The save, but into the hands of the Dragons, who have numbers. Fouch. A block is the call. Early? Yeah. <laughs> like voting in Chicago. You gotta get there early and off. Plant a stake in the ground. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Meanwhile, with the call going Drexel's way, two more free throws. Nine to nothing for the Dragons three minutes in. Tarzuski with a four-inch height advantage on Ruffin, and Tarzuski is... Uh, any, any foot in the lane, he's dangerous. Outside the lane, he's still a little uncomfortable. And when you're uncomfortable, you travel. But if Drexel was feeling scrappy and confident coming into the game, imagine how they're feeling right now. Again, everybody getting a touch at the offensive end for the guys in the blue. Lee rises. Back of the iron. Rebound Nick Johnson having a terrific year in so many different ways for Arizona. McConnell from the wing. And the rebound and put back for Aaron Gordon to finally get Aaron Gordon going to the glass and loser Flint. And rightfully so. He wants Lee to shoot, but not bad shots. One of the few areas in which Gordon has not excelled so far this year, free throw shooting. That miss, he's now 9 for 22. But I know uh, watching practice today, you thought there was a lot to like about Aaron Gordon. Side. And, quite frankly, Many freshmen, most freshmen, don't understand the importance of those kind of things because they've never had to. He, he was incredibly impressive. As was, as I said, Sean Miller and their entire team. 
It's been Drexel, which has been the impressive team of the first four minutes and change here in the game. Fouch steps in, still going. Floater gets the roll, and it's 11 to 2. But fundamentally, Fouch, he sees a play ahead. I mean, he knew he was getting the ball and driving. And when you see a play ahead, you're able to take advantage of defense. And he did. He took advantage of a bad recovery. And Fouch with six already. Ruffin making life tough on Ashley. And Arizona turns it over yet again. I'm telling you, that ball is loose. That's like a shark to blood. Drexel. Six Arizona turnovers. One of the things Bruce and Flynn said today is that is a key for them is run their offense, execute. Everybody gets a touch, get a high percentage look, and we've seen that on every possession. Massinet, that's a tough one. <laughs> when you're going good, you're going good, and it's 13 to two. McConnell, coast to coast. Yeah, and that's how Arizona wants to play. They want to get going and get down the floor, make or miss. They want to push and get into a set. Pretty good play by up by McConnell. Try that at home, that shot Massinus. <laughs> Run to your right, even if you're left-handed. Sprint that right, shoot the left hand on the baseline. And now Massinet forced. For the Dragons with 215 wins, he told me he'd trade all of that for one NCAA tournament berth. As you hmm. said, Dan, they almost got it. And without Mason, Old Dominion, VCU, they got a chance now this season in the CAA. Meanwhile, back in this game, Dan, that last foul by McConnell going to break. That was his second foul. So the starting point guard for Arizona has gone to the bench. Gabe York is into the game, as is Rondé Hollis Jefferson, a freshman and a terrific athlete. But it's Drexel scoring again to up the lead to 15 to 4. Fouch is wearing him out. He's wearing him out with the ball. He's wearing him out off the ball. He's wearing him out by cutting harder and being tougher than Arizona. Trying to take advantage of Tarzuski's size. Rough and not giving any ground. Getting low, using his strength. Air ball. Shot clock continues to run down. Johnson, they stepped away from him. He misses the three. And Tarzuski working hard. Has given, in my opinion, absolutely nothing to Arizona. And that's probably... Where Arizona's going to go, Dan, just throw it up there. Best offense, a missed shot. Second foul, Dan, on Rodney Williams. Remember, they're thin up front because Kasembe Abif, normally a starter in the front court, is out with a concussion. Williams is his replacement in the starting lineup, and now Williams has picked up two quick fouls. Fouch, that's a tough shot. And down with the rebound is Gordon. And Gordon can do this. He can handle. He can play the perimeter. And it's 6'9", he can go inside and jump over people, too. As can Hollis Jefferson, does not get the bounce, and the rebound down to the Dragons. Ooh, Williams kept that foot down. Massinet still with plenty of time to shoot. The degree of difficulty is very high tonight for Franz Massenet. Old-time Nick fans will remember Dick the Skull Barnett. Left-handed, step back, three, or not three, but twos. Massenet. Mm -hmm. You know what happened to get your feet set and going straight up in the air? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> out the door. I guess if you keep making them. Turn around by Tarzuski. Rebound rough. He struggles when his feet aren't in the lane. He just has three times he's gotten the ball outside the lane, hasn't done anything with it. Lee. And the weak side rebound down to York. A sophomore having a big season. Much improved, way more production than a year ago. He gives a lot of the credit to McConnell, the new point guard. Dan, I saw York at 44 in an AAU game against Yogi Farrell of Indiana and Jeremy Hollowell of Indiana. And I mean, he dominated him. He's a terrific scorer, can get hot in a hurry. Almost eight and a half minutes in, and Drexel with an 11-point lead. Alabama Duke coming up on ESPN2 in the second semifinal later tonight. Drexel's not even faking it. They're not even faking it in the rough, and they're not throwing it in there. They're looking for that. Massinet again. It's all Fouch and Massinet.
Right now, they've got 17 of the 19 between them. Johnson using the screen. Now York trying to do the same. Johnson misses the three. There's some tired bigs out there right now, it looks like. Some tired guards. Yeah. Massonet just pulled his jersey as well. But how could you ever want to come out when you're on fire like this? Stay in, never come out. Media timeout of the next whistle. Very few whistles in the early going. This guy looks like he's got lots of energy. Damian Lee. Kept alive by Ruffin, but then off his fingertip fouls, which I think tells you how seriously he's taking this situation right now. What do you tell your team in the huddle? You might tell him to go to zone, because they have shown no ability to guard. And, and if McConnell's in there, you want to keep. The other thing you tell him is, look, it's a long game. Just quit taking quick shots. Go to the rim and rebound like crazy. York did, but he missed on the follow as well. And Ruffin doing a nice job of the defensive blast for the Dragons. Tavon Allen into the game and now for Drexel, number 11, a 6'7 sophomore out of New Haven. He's a guy who scores 13 points a game in 23 minutes off the bench. He, he's just like what you see out of the other two. You know, he's he's a guy that comes in, cuts, shoots, pull-ups, driving. Mohamed Ba into the game as well, again with a Sith out with a concussion. They're going a little bit deeper into their bench than they normally would, and there's Lee banking one home. That was an unbelievably good pass by Massonet. He read where Lee was going. Lee was being defended and fade, faded to the corner, and those two guys playing well together. Ashley rolls off the rim. That's the best shot they've gotten. Though. That's the midway point of the first half. Drexel leading Arizona by 15. Not this time for Allen. Okay, you know it's amazing. I don't think a post guy has a touch yet. I know they have a shot. For Drexel. Yeah, for yeah. Drexel. I don't think they have a touch. Yeah. Johnson for Purdue sophomore, really good. And, his, and his, the guy he plays with, Bryson Scott, is a tough, tough defender. That's going to be interesting. And I got to believe, I think Sienna's going to get Memphis. I think Sienna's pretty good. And I think they're going to beat Memphis. Look at the shooting for Arizona, just three for 16. And that doesn't even bring into play all of the turnover trouble that they've had. Fouch again. He's into double figures already. And at the other end, a foul. And then now to come back as a six-year senior. Funny how life works out. You know, he ends up getting a six-year because of an injury, and lo and behold, here they are, playing in his hometown in the Mecca. Let's go back to Andy. Yeah, he had two bad injuries. He had the ACL early in his career, then he had the broken ankle last season. And Bruiser Flint told me they never doubted for a second that he wasn't going to get this sixth year of eligibility. He said it took the NCAA actually only five days to render a decision. Imagine if they did that all the time. <laughs> How come you guys don't praise the NCAA when they make a quick decision? You guys are always complaining when it takes them, you know, two minutes to make one. Now, How about praising them when they make a quick one? Another loose ball winds up in Drexel's hands. And now a held ball. The Dean. Fouch. In and out. Quick 2 3 zone out of the timeout by Arizona. Smart move because they can't guard Drexel to this point. And Johnson back into the game for the Wildcats. It's a wide open Ashley who misses the 15 footer and down with the rebound is Major Kennedy, a freshman out of Wilson, North Carolina. Some minutes backing up Fouch, or occasionally, as is the case right now, alongside Fouch in the backcourt. We're backing up Massonette, I should say. He is the backup point guard, so he'll take out Massonette and play alongside Fouch for a few minutes here and there. Pretty good move by Bruiser Flynn. He took Massonette out. Now he's got him at the scores table just to give him, in real time, probably about five minutes. Deep three. Got it! <laughs> This is remarkable. 14 for Fouch. And 
Tarzuski called for the travel. But you've got to speed him up. You've, you've got to make him go. But credit Fouch, Dan, you've seen it. You know, guy comes home, he gets nervous, he doesn't play well. And this kid, he's expecting great things and he's delivered. 14 in the game already for Fouch. Arizona's three for 17 with seven turnovers. Bassinet back into the game. McConnell guarding him. McConnell's got two fouls. McConnell might have gotten a fingertip on that shot, and here comes Johnson for the Wildcats. Johnson driving and lays it in. Nick Johnson played faster than Drexel there. It's one of the few times that Drexel kind of jogged down, and Nick Johnson just beat his man, and because Drexel drove, nobody was there to take a charge. This is a good lineup. This is the best lineup for Arizona right now. I think they're, they're going to make a run here, I feel. It's quicker. It's more athletic. Massonet. Not this time. Rebound down to Gordon. And what a steal by Damian Lee playing free safety for the Dragons. And you can hear the Drexel fans. They're vocal right now here at the Garden. And why not? Lee, Massonet, Ashley the rebound. And a spin move will send Ashley. You see, you just mentioned the Aztecs that are out in California in that tournament. And to a player and the staff, they all said that's the kind of game they needed early and really tested them as they came out with a nine-point victory. So not a shock that they've been pushed. Maybe not to this level. Fouch a miss and another strong rebound by Ashley. He's got help. But there was going to be a layup, but he didn't see him on his left side. Massonette steps through everything but the finish. Boy, is he creative. He is. <laughs> This time, Ashley looks and he gives it up. And he was begging to give it up as soon as he got it. Pretty smart. Ashley spins and draws the foul. So often we talk about size being an advantage, and more often than not, it seems that smaller, quicker guys wind up having the advantage on the, the bigger, slower guys. You know, yeah, and we, it's, it's basically mental toughness. I mean, you know, great centers are guys that say, all right, this is mine, and I'm taking this. I'm not asking you, I'm taking it. When you ask, you get whooped. Drexel's missed eight of its last nine shots, still lead by 15. Tough one for Fouch. And that's what I'm talking about with Fouch. Nick Johnson did a great job of getting into Fouch, made him put it on the floor. And Johnson driving and scoring. He's got a chance for a three point. Uh, he handles himself ridiculously well. And, it, you know, it's no surprise all of them are, being, are, are very successful. But I, I just felt like Parker was the best out of all of them. Now a steal by the Wildcats, and Gordon lays it in. Second field goal of the night for Aaron Gordon to go with eight rebounds already. And that's the first turnover in the game for Drexel. First time they've been pressured, really, into full court, which is something Sean Miller's staff said they would do more often. They haven't done it much in this game. And Arizona on the strength of a 9 to nothing run. Some cold shooting by the Dragons recently. The Wildcats are back within 10. Massonet fouled by Jordan Mays. You're playing a long team. You always throw it long, so it either goes out of bounds where they have to reset or it goes to your guy. Because when you throw a long pass short, invariably it's a bucket, whether it's in full court or half court or not inbound. That was the sixth team foul by Arizona. Drexel's over the limit already. Allen, great little fake. A little bit too strong. Ball's loose. And Johnson comes up with it for Arizona. And he is fouled by speed of the game. Might be a little bit much for him right now. It, it was. It was early. And Ruffin's physicality knocking him off the block. If, if you're not going to block shots on defense and you're seven feet tall, you better get something done on offense. And, and what he was getting done was traveling. So now, for his sake, I hope he's settled in and works harder to gain position. 11-0 run Arizona. 
Nice two man game. And somebody blocked it. Either Tarzuski or Hollis. Nice two man game. And somebody blocked it. Either Tarzuski or Hollis Jefferson. Or maybe both of them. Hollis Jefferson for three. Hollis Jefferson. Hollis yep. Jefferson yep. with a Karzuski sandwich. Yep. He's got kind of Richard Jefferson athleticism. Took a bad shot down there. Yeah, he, 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 yeah. he was a little excited. As was Allen on that shot by Drexel. Drexel's gone a long time between baskets. Been 10 possessions since they've scored. Gordon called for the try. Point guard, but not really. And he was trying to get the ball from Gordon. Point guards, don't try to get the ball from your big guy. Get the ball from your big guy. Demand it. And a normal point, a, a guy that's used to being a point guard would have had the ball in his hands and there wouldn't have been a turnover. Here's Fouch with a game high 14. But he, like the rest of the Dragons, has gone cold recently, but he follows up his own recently, but he follows up his own miss. He's got 16 now, and that snaps a drought of better than five minutes without scoring for the Dragons. You know, as a coach, there are certain things that's inexcusable, and that was. You know, the littlest guy in the scrum picks up the ball, and not only does he pick it up, he gets it in the bucket. Connell's on the bench with two fouls. Johnson hits York. York for three, way long. Tarzuski, no. And as we enter the final minute of a surprising first half, Drexel's got a 10 point lead of the ball. Foucher missed. Tarzuski wins the battle for the rebound. It's a huge possession here. 10 point game. You've got the ball, you've got a chance to go in. Johnson, well, he looks like we have seen he's a very important player to the defensive end for the Dragons in this game. And Drexel can basically hold it if they want to, about a three second difference between the game clock and the shot clock. It's been all about the perimeter with the offensive end. Fouch with 16, Amassinette with 9. The timeout. This back into the game along with Williams in the front court, but as we've said, it's been all about the perimeter offensively for Drexel. Those are their three most experienced players. Here's one of them in Massinet, a four year starter with the point. Five to shoot, eight and a half. Massinet behind the back, and a shot clock violation will give. Ashley to inbound. Johnson, big screen by Tarzuski. Get it off. Would not have counted. In terms of defense, he thought they actually played pretty good defense the second part of the first half. He said their offense was atrocious. They should do a much better job rebounding. They had zero assists. I asked him, when are you going to throw the ball inside? He says, look, we tried. It didn't work. Ashley drives it inside, can't finish. And we're going to foul underneath going because of that. Muhammad Abbas starts the second half in his place. And the other front court starter, Rodney Williams, just picked up his third foul. And then a three for TJ. And then a three for TJ McConnell. So in the first 20 seconds alone of the second half, all kinds of things going Arizona's way. Yeah, and, and roughing out is a big, big deal because he's big, he's strong, he's willing. Bob not nearly as big in his physical. Fouch takes the handoff, trying to back Johnson down. Now hits Lee. Massinet open for a corner three. And the long rebound to Ba, who's beyond the reach of Tarzuski. And sometimes you don't have to jump for a rebound. Had Tarzuski not jumped, the ball would have come to him and it would have been in transition. Lee the drive, hangs off the glass and good. Well, size did not matter right there because Gordon was trying to stay with Lee and he just couldn't. Tarzuski rejected at the rim, gets it back, lays it in and draws. He goes a little bit deeper into his bench, bringing in a 6'10 senior, Goran Pantovich. 
from Serbia making his first appearance in the game tonight. Well, either a zone or if you're Arizona, you do not shoot unless you have a layup without testing Tarzuski on the block. Tell you what, if you're Drexel, watch number 14 Lee. He has to keep moving against Gordon. Can guard him stationary, but can't guard him moving. And now a travel. How big are the first few minutes of the second half for Drexel? You know what? Bounds tried as best he could, and it worked to start the half, first half, second half, end of the first half, nothing there. Nice look from McConnell, and it's a four point game. And an early timeout for an incensed Bruce because it's a 19 to 4 run right now for the Wildcats going well back into the first half that has it within four. At one point, they trailed by 19. Williams off to Fouts where they're making him work. Oh, that's good. That's yeah. two travels. Fouts has had haven't been called in this possession. Trying to get by Johnson, takes a bump, misses the shot. Tarzuski the rebound. Yeah, a little bit of focus on Fouts at that possession. Four different guys took a crack at him. This is dumb. Gordon is fouled. Now he, he's so willing to work. Skill level is going to be something as he moves on to the next level because there are so many guys that can knock in an NBA three and the NBA three is far different. I don't care that they move the linebacker. It's far different than college. And Gordon called for the foul. It's at the four, but if they take Tarzuski out, or he starts at the three, I should say, if they take Tarzuski out, he becomes the four in their lineup. He's got some inside outside versatility and obviously some great physical ability. Yeah, and, and great mental ability too. I mean, I was talking to Joe Pasternak, the fine assistant coach, and he's like, look, He's learned both positions, and that's not easy. Massinet in and out. The shots that were all falling in the first half are rimming out on the Dragons now. And Tarzuski lays it in to tie the game. Run right down Main Street. Twenty-three to four run Wildcats. Chant of U of A loud and clear right now in the garden. Still Drexel Balsman. And you're Rodney Williams. You got to sprint back. Number 24 for Drexel. Tarzuski ran right by him. Lee the leaner. Rebound Gordon. Bruiser Flinch brought Darte Ruffin back into the game with three fouls to try to slow things down. Arizona leads. That was quick. Danny took. He took Williams in the middle of the lane and gave a little fake to the left shoulder, and then a right-handed George Gervin finger roll. And he'd been going over that left shoulder all night long. Yeah. First time he went the other way. Yeah, that's what made it so great. What, what a run here for Arizona. They were getting trampled in the first half. Lee. Pronounced on the scoreboard here in the second half, Arizona outscoring Drexel 13 to 2 since the break to take the lead. They trailed by as many as 19 midway through the first half. Boys, Nick Johnson doing a job on foul. Again, another tough shot. A lot of them were falling early. They're not falling now for the Dragons. York with a quick three and two feet too far. Taking bumps and taking off balance jumpers. We talked about how Massinet hit a couple of very tough ones. Lee hit a couple of very tough ones. And Fouch has had some decent looks, but he's gone cold as well. And they just don't even look inside. Yeah. They had Rodney Williams on a little cross screen. Didn't even look from Lee. Well, the three guys, Fouch, Massinet, and Lee, they scored all 31 points for Drexel. When was the last time you saw a game where only three players scored? I'm going to add to it. Man. They play a three out, two, two in motion, and they have not thrown the ball on the block yet. Biggs have touched it at the top of the key on a handoff. Off step, but this guy's given credit for completely changing the look of the Arizona offense because he's been such a pass first guy. You know what that means for a coach? That means when you're in transition, he has the ball, you sit back and you go, all right, this is going to be a bucket. 
I mean, it's just a comfort with a guy like Pagan. A good decision's going to be made. Fouch. Massonets. They needed that one. Yeah, good play by Fouch. Fouch went to the baseline. Good little baseline drip from Massonet. Fouch found him. The reason that's a good play, he didn't force a shot. You know, sometimes a score doesn't get a bucket. He wants to force things. Didn't force it. Found the next. Got a bucket. Got three. Ashley for three. That is a horrible looking spin. A bowling ball spin. <laughs> it spins like yep. a globe. Yep. Great follow by Rondé Hollis Jefferson. They say Rondé Hollis Jefferson is a jump shot away from the NBA. Can do things like that. Very active. Finishes around the rim. Yes. The lead trades back and forth here to the garden. Got that bucket with Gabe York on him. Now York the drive scoops it up and off the rim. Well, I think everything would go through for him. And back comes Massinet. Telling you, Fouts really comfortable now that Nick Johnson is out of the game. And Coach Miller going to have to get him back in and he's at this table. Here he comes again off a little pin down. This is the shot. He does not mind the contact on his way into the shot, but he missed out. No, but Bruiser Flint does. He was screaming at the referee going down the floor. That's deflected away. It'll stay with Arizona. It's just like you were talking about in the first half yeah, of Yeah, and you have to do it because Fouts on the offensive end is involved in sprinting. He's involved in screening, and then he comes off screens with cut. This is where, Dan, this is where Tarzuski has to go and demand the ball and demand his position against Ruffin and get his heels in the lane and put Ruffin in a bad spot with three foul. He said he sets the high screen. Now he's got to sit in there and demand the ball. He's got it. Ruffin getting low trying to use his lower half. Tarzuski with the jump hook and the foul. To put the Wildcats back on top. This is really dangerous for Bruce and Flint because the only two guys, the only two guys that can get a bucket are Massinet and Lee. That's it. Drive wild shot and the follow is good. This time that somebody other than one of the big three has scored a point tonight for the Dragons. He's got to go in. He's got to make the same move. Gives it up, sets the screen. They try to get it back into him and throw it away. Massinet, what a drive! Uh oh, Massinet shaking up. Well, the training staff is saying that it is a cramp. Bruiser felt yelling to get him some Gatorade, but Bruiser was all over him in the huddle saying, you've got to guard somebody. So really riding him on his defensive effort, even though he's got a cramp right now. Well, with the, the way he rolled that left ankle, if it's just a cramp, he's a, a fortunate guy. and Probably will be back at the game soon. Major Kennedy has come to take his place as Johnson draws the foul. Back to the bench and probably not that far from getting back into the game. Best time to yell at a guy is when he's hurt. Because <laughs> he's going to listen. You know, it takes his mind off being hurt. Now, if it's a serious injury, obviously, you don't do that. But cramp, little twisted ankle, good spin back to the butt hook and post. Gordon rejected twice by Williams and has it knocked away. Building three times. Well, at some point, you know, you gather yourself, you shot fake, and at the worst, you get fouled. At the best, you get a bucket and a foul. Connor with a drive, can't finish. Kennedy down. Get fouled. At the best, you get a bucket and a foul. Connor with a drive, can't finish. Kennedy down with the rebound. And the con he's had a couple of those tonight. That's just dumb. And that's just dumb. You put him in some ball screen action or some just trying to make life tough on him now to get the fourth? The problem is he's guarding a guy that really can't do anything off the ball screen, so you just go underneath him. Did anybody else in the country here in the early go? Dave, I I'm Dave. Dan, I used to work with Obi. <laughs> I had a chance to you think my name of all names would be easy for you I to know. remember. <laughs> no kidding. Well, you can call me Ed. <laughs> or you can call me Earl or my other brother Earl, but nah. any player in Puerto Rico. And he's a freshman, and I've never been more impressed with the kid. I mean, I, I wanted him to tell me how to live, and I don't listen really to anybody. <laughs>
Massinet back into the game now for Drexel. That's what you do right there. Now, now that you know, Massinet's back in. And now another injured dragon is Damian Lee is down and writhing in pain behind the play. They're going to let it continue until a score or Drexel gets the ball. And now, so midway through the second half, as Lee is helped off to the locker room, Drexel continuing to cling to the lead. They have lost it on a couple of occasions here in the second half, but have regained it and are up three with 10 10 to go. The winner to play the winner of our next semifinal between Alabama and Duke. Well, it's got to go in. There you go. Karzuski's had a better second half, and he will add to his numbers here with another jump hook, another little turnaround. The reason he made that, Dan, is he turned and he jump hooked towards the basket. In the first half, everything was away from the basket. That time, when you're on the right block, if you step your right foot, and get in front of your left, your shoulders go to the rim, and that was terrific by Tarzuski. Nine of his 11 points here in the second half. Three no good for Allen. This is going to be a dunk here. Johnson picks up the loose ball, and Arizona's back on top. Dan, this has to be something for Fouch. He, he, he has to, if he doesn't get it, he's got to exhaust every opportunity to get a shot up. Here he comes. But he's got Johnson on. Smart by Johnson. You see him just fake at the ball and stay with Fouch. Fouch, quick three. Gets it back. Foot on the line. Misses the two. And the follow for Muhammad Bob. That was out of nowhere. The first points of the night for any big guy, any front court player for Drexel. Tarzuski with a nice patience inside. I'm bigger than you, I'm stronger than you, and yet tougher than you. You got a real problem. Tarzuski in the first half wasn't tough. Second half, really tough. Goran Pantovic is back into the game, number 13 for Drexel as Bruce Flint continues to improvise in the front court. Without a biff, out with a concussion. And Ruffin on the bench with four fouls. Tough one will go for Fouch. Fouch gets in the lane. He's pretty good. I thought Nick Johnson played pretty good defense. I mean, he was right there. With Mark Jackson, you say. Good defense, better offense. Well, Gordon working hard for position inside now. Team had it knocked away. Fouch. You know where he's going. That was a great play by O'Connor. But they get it back, and Fouch will line up a three that goes around and out. Well, McConnell got back on defense, put his head under the rim, and got a piece of the ball and a flying in there. Fouch. And Sean Miller is going to use a timeout. Boy, Fouch. Let's keep all simple. If I outscore you by one. And I play 10 guys and we all outscore our guy by one. We win by 10. <laughs> What's the big deal? Didn't get the feeling after the Vermont game that Duke was looking at that as a victory, even though it was a victory. Great ball movement. And Tarzewski slams home the feed from Ashley. Well, that's that's become America's play. Side ball screen dive, reverse it to the top. Drexel couldn't get beat on a lot of things, but they shouldn't get beat on that. Arizona back on top. Seven minutes to go here in the garden. Allen, nice little fake. The drive, no. Loose ball rebound of McConnell. Well, Allen anticipated somebody there. If he'd have sat down like Tarzuski's been doing, taking an extra dribble, he'd have got a bucket. Nice look. Wide open three for Johnson. Got it. What a feed from TJ McConnell. And Bruiser Flick needs a timeout. He's had a great, great coach, John Miller, Blackhawk High School. He knew McConnell. You can see what a valuable guy he is. Fouch again. McConnell getting in there with the big guys for the rebound. Back 
Ashley this time to the left shoulder and that's going to be a diagnosis before the end of this game but he is done for the night with six points. All right Andy thank you so Lee is injured Kasembe Abif a starter didn't play at all tonight because of a concussion Darte Ruffins had a lot of foul trouble he's back in the game just now with four. Williams finds a little space and makes it a two point game. Well, Williams just stuck his nose because nobody put a body on him. And one thing is, you watch college basketball this year, rarely do you see a guy help on defense and then go put a body on his man. The help was there, the body wasn't. So and an over and back, it was off. You're starting to think like me, and you do not want to do that. Me thinking like you is a good thing. You thinking like me, horrible. Will this fade after, uh, you know, since you're only here for one, or is this reversible? Or? No, no. You bet it's <laughs> Same action. They run. Fouch out, and he tries to drive the middle if he can. Massinet. Long rebound down to Hollis Jefferson. You know, a lot of the long range or tough shots for Drexel that were falling early have not fallen since. Yeah, next possession, Massinet should drive that because if he can get in the lane, that means that he's he's not a good shot. It means he made his defender. If the help comes, it's coming from Fouts, and Fouts is going to be wide open. Gordon Johnson for three. Nice shot. And a good job blocking out the long range or tough shots for Drexel that were falling early have not fallen since. Yeah, next possession, Massinet should drive that because if he can get in the lane, that means that he's, he's not a good shot. It means he made his defender. If the help comes, it's coming from Fouts, and Fouts is going to be wide open. Gordon Johnson for three. Nice shot. And a good job blocking. Good job blocking out there by Rodney Williams to hold off the bigger Tarzuski. Here's Massinet driving out of control. And might have gotten away with one, missed the shot. McConnell, look ahead, Johnson. And great body control by Nick. You get better year by year. You stick around, you develop. And Johnson, who's always kind of had stardom written all over him, but it's taken a couple of years to really come out. But he's now a star. He is a star, and he's a star on both ends. And I, I would venture a guess there's no way he thought he would play defense this way as a freshman. Because he is guarding, he has made it very tough for Fox. This is what I'm talking about, the drive. Step back jumper won't go for Tavon Allen. And here comes Arizona, up by five. Yeah, and that's a bad shot. He almost had the help coming from Fouch. Fine, it didn't come. Set it back up and get a better look. to shoot under four to play. Gordon tries to shovel it inside. Hollis Jefferson puts it up wildly. Ashley can't finish. And Drexel comes out with the ball. Boy, a couple of missed opportunities there for the Wildcats. Gordon played that like he was in high school. You know, he got the ball, didn't have enough respect. The next thing you know, Fouts just rips it out of his hands. And a steal by McConnell. He's got a trailer. It's Gordon. And Williams found. Ruffin playing with four. Pantovic back into the game for the Dragons. And Gordon makes two big free throws. Well, if you're Drexel, it's pretty simple. Fouts and Massinet have to be the scorers. They've combined for 35 of their 47. Comes Massinet on the baseline. Massinet scoops it up, no good. Rebound down to the Wildcats. Good decision by McConnell. Yeah, really good. And, and a good decision by Nick Johnson. Nick Johnson wanted to go and saw he didn't have anything, so he backed out, not even tempting McConnell. Bounce pass into Ashley, blocked from behind. And to Earlier I talked about a best jump. Ashley has made his worst jump. A bad jump is when you fall forward. A good jump is when you jump straight up and too much falling for Ashley. Yeah, that's going to be on. Everybody complaining about the new rules, which aren't new, by the way. They're just calling fouls. Well, coach teams aren't being affected by it. Good I mean, you know, game here, game there, but teams that keep their hands off, move their feet, like right there. Ooh. That's yeah. offense. Yeah, Allen got away with an offensive foul. Got that off arm up into the grill of the Arizona defense. Fouch the floater. Got it. Wave it off. 
This has been a well officiated game, don't mm -hmm. you think? Brian O'Connell, Boboroski, Roger Ayers working the game. Two more big free throws for Gordon. He's made four in a row down the stretch. Allen pushed off again. Missed the jumper. Drexel gets it back. Fouch. He loves the teardrop. And he makes it a five point game. Timeout. Bruiser Flint. Well, win or lose, you got to give him credit. There's been in high school until now, just how smart of a basketball player he is. Under two minutes to play, Arizona with the ball and the lead. In a game in which it looked like they might get blown out early, down 19 midway through the first half. He's got to come into the middle of the floor. to shoot. Johnson nice swing wide open McConnell. What a great possession for Arizona. So well coached. What a great possession for Arizona. So well coached team late in the game they go to a little weave action. And the reason he got that shot after a trap everybody left McConnell. Allen rattles home along two. There's so many good games. I mean, we talked about it. Arizona State against Creighton. You yeah. want to watch two good teams with a pro at point guard and, and a pro for Creighton at the wing. Just great games. Into the final minute here at the Garden. Fouch is fouled. Or improve your post. Yeah. <laughs> Perimeter dominated team we have seen alive with the ability these guys have. Six point game as Kennedy checks back in. The loser of this game will play the loser of the Alabama Duke game, 3 30 Eastern time tomorrow. In the third place game, the winner of this one will play the winner of that game of the championship game. Nearly a steal, but Kennedy rolled out of bounds before he could give up the ball. Gordon out for Arizona. We got more. Perimeter guys Johnson, McConnell, and York. Three ball handlers in there. And Johnson will shoot two. You know what else he did? I, I thought he was really good at echoing what Sean Miller wanted today in the walkthrough to make sure everybody was on point. And he's carried that over to the game. After the first free throw, he was directing traffic and you know things like that. They're just immeasurable. We'll get the bucket and then go three guys. <laughs> three point play. Still five down, 33 seconds to go. The trap and Johnson. If you just continue to score, and I know that sounds silly, but get a point two. It's amazing how all you're playing for right now. If your Drexel is a chance, a shot to tie it at the end, and you, you just you don't need a crazy three. The reverse yes. is good for Allen. It's a four-point game, and he's really going with the three guards again. And then Ashley and Tarzuski up front. They're having trouble getting it in. You gotta foul him. You gotta foul him immediately. And Ashley got rid of it before they did foul him. So, 14 seconds. I think Foucher Allen here looking for a three. Massinet fouled by Ash. <laughs> well coached team Arizona. Didn't play well tonight. Couldn't shoot it in much, but well coached. Fouch banks at home. Still a two possession game, only five seconds remaining. Call him 99.9 percent. He's basically 99.9 percent of the time goes right. And the clock will expire with Arizona victorious, beating Drexel 66 to 62. The Dragons fought hard.